What's up, what's up, what's up? Super Gaming here, and today we about to finish 5.2. 100% it, get them nice juicy rewards. We're going to open them afterwards. Obviously, you see here, I'm completely KO'd, you know, but we're going to revive, push on through it. Uh, the First of all, the collector... This is like a rigged fight, man. And unless you have like one or two particular champions, like a Daredevil, maxed out 99 Sig, um, or maybe Stark Spidey, e evading these specials is kind of hard. And that's why I guess where I messed up. Um, I'm just going to do the 100% revive. Let's see if this will knock him out. I know the D-Gen isn't... So the reason why I'm not going to do one at a time right here is because it seems like when I go on one champ, I just get completely knocked out. So I feel like if I just do the five, then I'll be fine. I know that when I if I can get the bane onto him, it's not enough. But maybe with five champs, we'll we'll push on through. Maybe if I get down the last champ, maybe I'll do it. We'll see. And afterwards, I'm going to give my overall opinion on this. Ooh. No tenacity, that's good. Hit him. Ooh, got the bane back onto him. Oh, I should have went. Okay. Mm. He just popped out of unstoppable right there. I'm getting too scared when I fight him. I can't do that. Like I'm. I'm getting too, I get too nervous when I want to do something because he's literally just, it's like, you can't mess up, he literally just wrecks you. And another problem mine is, is the Bane, okay, honestly, it's it's almost too much, for everything that happens with him, with the Unblockable, Unstoppable, Regen, Tenacity, and then looking at the Bane, it's too much for me. Well, maybe we could just finish him off with, see, if I would have just did one person at a time, he did knock me out. Why did I do that? There we go. Maybe go in for the kill. These are not good examples of playing him. See? Got the unstoppable. I just don't do good against him. I cannot do good against him. I can't figure it out. I've tried to evade his L1 constantly. Constantly. I, I'm a, I like to evade, okay? I honestly, I love to evade. I don't like taking block damage. Uh, so I got, I'm kind of like in my head, like I'm just, every time I see him about to, gonna do the L1, or, or why do I always say L1? His, that's his special one. Uh, I, I just naturally just evade. Alright, let's let's finish him off right here. There you go, done. You're out of here, man. Thank God, man, he's done with. I pro I probably could have done him honestly with two revives, but what that would have cost me. I I'm out of level uh what, what level one po uh, revives out of him. I only I opened like a hundred um uncollected the four four hour ones, and I seriously got probably. 19 small energies and like 12 um no it was like 16 um gold crystals i, I think that's a waste i i thought it was i want all re uh, like i want i only got like a couple revives uh i don't do enough farming in this game and that's my problem i i need to start farming uh, I think that's why I'll explain everything in the, in the minute in a minute. Okay, so this is what we got for completing 5.2 Obviously we got five uh, What whatever six five whatever four star six stones Ugh, Can't talk and then we got a four star rank up gem now with this. I need a tech What you need we don't get but I need a tech because I want to take um Vision to rank five, and then 
it may be Ultron. I don't know because of his regen. I need someone, another uh, R5 bleeder, uh, bleed immune champ. I, I love Vision. I think Vision is, is great. Uh, he would help me out so much. I could R5 him right now, but on November 2nd, I'm going for Stark Spidey. So instead of uh, him sitting there at R2, I want to use my three techs to take him straight to R3. Uh, because once I get him to R4, then I want to do Labyrinth of Legends. Um, I only have a R5 Star-Lord, and I don't feel good enough or even my skills enough to, to intercept constantly like a god to, uh, to beat it significantly in, under a certain amount of units. Well, I'll explain a little bit more. Um, T4 Cat. This is the big one that I want. Look at that. 59. 43. Need. We only need what? A little over 900. Definitely going to get that with SA and opening up some four star crystals. So there. We will be able to go for him four times. Stark Spidey. Woo! I'm so freaking excited. And then a. Just four. That, that's weird. That, that's weird. Just regular four star signature stones. Just four of them. Okay. Well, these rewards really aren't that. This is not actually that much. I, I, I never look at rewards or anything. It's crazy. But this is honestly not that much. Where going against the collector, dishing out all your units, like 50, even 55. Like, this is not, you know. All right, I'm going to get into it right now. Basically, I had to make a choice. Basically, completely do 5.2 or do LOL. Now, I did the math. When I do, when I run with a five, um, a four-star, five-star, well, a four-star, rank five-star, I don't know why I cannot talk right now. Um, I'm only at the max doing out like 200k damage, and that's like at the max, fully uh, full full health everything with the Star Lord, and that's using a Yellow Jacket, Ant Man, uh, Red Cyclops, and a Red Magneto. Um, now I don't have a Wolverine, so I can't do the good crit damage team. So that's the team I'm running with. I'm trying to get my attack level up to get the Rage Timer down, and if I basically do like 200 at the most, what is that? Like seven, eight, maybe nine um, revives just just to do that. And then there's 11 fights. Um, reviving them all. It's it obviously adds up. And that's if I if I don't mess up. That's if um, I just don't want to go in there and, and know that I'm going to die. Doing basically 200k worth of damage. Uh, you know, I've practiced on them numerous times, and I've never gone over 200k. Uh, it's it's the enrage timer that's obviously killing me. Uh, first time it goes around, I'm fine. Second time it goes around, it's good. But by the time the third one comes around, I I just you know it, it, it doesn't matter. I die. It just you die. Um, so. I guess I'm just gonna wait to do that until maybe I could do it, have a champ that could do more damage. Uh, obviously, Stark Spidey, but you know we'll see, we'll decide. Um, obviously, I still have a, enough units if I want to to possibly do it or maybe save up, but I'll be totally drained. I got 4,600 units left. I had probably. You know, I spent a good amount. I don't even want to say how many units, but I spent a good amount of units just completing. Um, Act 5.2. I kind of rushed it. Didn't do a lot of homework on it. I kind of just rushed through it because I felt like I should just get it done. I want to start doing 5.3. And from a lot of people told me 5.3 was actually a lot easier than 5.2. It's just the... They're, they're longer fights, but overall it's easier because of the Bane. and every, That's the only thing that was killing me was the Bane. Uh... For me, I can't concentrate on all this stuff, you know. Uh, yeah, you could do it the easy way. I mean, yeah, sometimes I was just had to go in there with the full health uh, champ and hit him, sit back. You know, I use um, uh, Archangel Gwenpool a lot, and it's just like 
go and hit them. They get the pain. They get a couple bleeds on them. And you kind of just sit back, do a couple more, you know, back and forth. Uh, but if you messed up one time or they did get you with, like, an intercept or something, you're dead. Completely dead. Um, now, the first three parts, the... Let's, let's do this real quick. Weird Science, Strange Bedfellows, <laughs> That's a, and the Don, all three of those were easy. In my opinion, they were easy. On um, Lines in the Sand, basically, I feel like something flew on me. Basically, on this one, the only two problems that I had was the bleed lane, or not the, well, Caltropes, honestly. But the only problem is, is because I didn't have a rank 5 uh, bleed champ. I mean, Bleach Jam. So, obviously, Iceman Arena was around, so I did that. And along with the Iceman Arena, and me getting Iceman and duping him, I was actually able to also do the evading of the Limber uh, path. So, I got that down, got two of those downs. Um, the Bleed Path, the only reason why I used some units is because it just was a long path. And I have a... A vision that I never really, really, really played with that much. and But I got used to him. It's just kind of like a long kind of fight. He doesn't do a lot of damage. And you're just kind of just knocking out their, L1, their S1. And it's just, you know what I mean? And I'm not great at intercepting. like, And I'm nervous that if I mess up, I'm going to die. So... I, can't, I Sometimes I take two, I play too cautious. And that actually, I think, hurts me. Um, but yeah, the bleed lane, the caltropes, I was fine, went all the way through it, none really gave me too much of a problem where I was like, oh, this is so hard, uh, the evade lane, the limber lane, obviously that lane, I'm not great against Spideys and Nightcrawler, but with Iceman, it was not bad at all, uh, it, you, you faced Miles, you, Symbiote, OG Spidey, Nightcrawler, it, that, that wasn't hard, all the other ones were pretty easy, uh, you know, maybe just take block damage from, like, bleed, like, uh, certain champs, but that's it, uh, then our five point insurrection, that was easy for me, I actually thought that was easy, insurrection was easier than lines in the sand, uh, now, abrogation, obviously, last one, and final one with the collector, it's just total bullcrap, it's just total bullcrap with the Bane, with, uh, the, the paths weren't really hard, uh, like, um, Iceman really wasn't hard, actually, honestly, what was hard for me, and most of all this, is like, these, like, type of, like, mini boss type deals, was Lines in the Sand with, um, you'd go to Magic, and then Doctor Strange, for some odd reason, I just had a hard time with that. Uh, I don't know why. Strange just sometimes gives me a little bit of a hard time, and I don't know why. Magic, it's magic's not hard with baiting. It's just her being in limbo. That's honestly the hardest thing. It's just it's, you're always just going to take damage, basically. Uh, and I, I probably should have brought uh, Voodoo to that one, but it was Alliance Quest time, and see, that was my thing. I'm not taking my top champs into these. Uh, I just wanted to hurry up and finish it. So... Then obviously abrogation, it's just when you get up to the collector, the first couple times I'm like, there's got to be a way to evade his special one. No possible way. I, I don't see a way of doing it. I, I did everything. I was purposely dying just to see, and not purposely dying, just seeing. And I guess if you didn't go in there with like a full thing, a full person with full health, you're going to die from the block damage just alone. Or, you know, because it takes like three, four, it takes like three seconds at least, maybe two seconds. That if the Bane's just right and then it hits to you, you're going to die once that Bane hits on you. Or I'll rush in and then he'll just do his little headbutt thingy that he does. It's just I had so many problems with this fight. <clears throat> I don't know if anybody else had, it was, it was easier for you to fight him. Uh, it, it would take me, if I had like, uh... It would take me a couple full team revives. It's just got to knock them down. Some champs I would do better with. Like, obviously, for me, Hulk was, for some odd reason, Hulk, I did great with Hulk. Even Scarlet Witch did good. Uh, Archangel, for some reason, I couldn't do good with Archangel. I don't know why. Maybe I was relying too much on his heavy, his heavy attack. Um, 
Gwenpool, not bad. Hyperion, not that bad. You know, like I said, I should have probably brought in other people, but I didn't. Uh, overall, I spent all on 5.2. I didn't write none of this stuff down. I probably should have, but it, it was too much. Honestly, too much. And I wonder if I would have just slowly done it if I should have took all the units and did LOL. Because I want a 5-star Awakening Gem. Uh, and hopefully... I'll do 5.3, get that done, and get that. It's obviously not going to be for a while. It's just like now I'm wondering if I should have took the, with, with the rewards I just saw, it just didn't seem like it was that much really worth it. Honestly, it just didn't seem like it was worth it. It seems like maybe I should have done LOL. But there are certain people in LOL that I was going to have a problem with. Obviously, like Magic, going to have a problem with them. Ant-Man could have a problem with them. It's just certain champs like that, you take damage. And then I have not did practice against some of the other people. So obviously I've done practice against Red Hulk. And I just kind of got easier fighting him. So I might mess up these other fighting these other champs. I don't know. But I'm kind of like going off topic here, I guess. So let's open up some crystals that we got. Let's see... Let's see, where are these at? Alright, now let's see the four. Obviously, we said we want a tech. Um, Who else? Cosmic, I guess, wouldn't be too bad. Mutant actually wouldn't be too bad either. Um, Skill, we're not really looking for skill and science. Skill, science, and... And honestly, maybe Mystic. I don't need any more Mystics right now. Like, I, I feel like I'm kind of stacked with Mystics, except I do need a Ghost Rider. Because I have Dormammu. So, you know what? Let's just see. Let's just see. What do we get here? We don't even, you don't even get a Four Star Awakening gem. Did I not get a four star awakening gem for that? Man, see, I don't even think these these rewards are not worth it, man. I just and ooh yes, bam! That is sweet. That is so freaking awesome! Wow, I've never actually got anything I wanted in this game. Like, ever. Like, whenever I've called for something, I've never gotten it. So, to actually get a tech and actually be able to save my um, tech cats is actually pretty freaking sweet. So, I guess maybe this might have been a little worth it, but not really. I, I don't really think it was worth it. If you're obviously making a decision and you have the units to do LOL or 5.2, do it. Just do it. Or maybe I just am not that great of a player and it's taken me a lot of units to do 5.2. I don't know. Uh, what else did we get? I thought we got an Awakening Gem. I don't know why. See, I, I didn't look at the rewards. I thought we got an Awakening Gem. Ooh, I'm down to one of these because I wasted them all. <laughs> wow, that's it? Wow, kind of a, um, wow, yeah, okay, well, I thought there was, I'm saving my, uh, I'm just saving my, uh, I'm just going to save this, I'm, I'm doing a video for all my Map 5 Alliance quests, my map fours, three, six, and then obviously the tier four class cat. So I'm just gonna save those. So guys, I'm sorry. I kind of dragged this video on way too long. I'm just rambling on about nonsense. Um, but I don't like the rewards for doing 5.2. You're going against the collector. This is like the the dude that is. This is like the guy you're supposed to be fighting. Now I understand that you're going to go up against other people, but Jesus Christ, man, you could have rewarded us with something else. 
I don't I, I don't see what was the reason for honestly I don't see the reason for to rush to complete it. Uh I would say I could have done five point three. So well, I guess we'll be on the five point three. Who knows? So uh thanks for watching guys. If you're new, please subscribe, uh leave a comment, uh hit that like button. Uh like I said, sorry for just rambling on. It's just I didn't like the rewards. But uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.